Hey everybody, welcome back. We are getting ready to watch some, not watch, we're getting ready to react to a music video. This one is Postmodern Jukebox, and the song is Angel by Sarah McLachlan, done in classic soul style. I have a hard time listening to this song. <laughs> I'll go ahead and admit it, because it, I always associate it with the Humane Society commercials. <laughs> Plus, my understanding is, is that she wrote it in memory of Kurt Cobain. I don't know if that's actually true or not, but that's what I've heard through the years. And it makes sense if you pay attention to the lyrics. I've actually used it in substance abuse group before when you break down the lyrics and stuff. When they talk about memories seep through my veins, uh, seep from my veins. It's from my veins or through my veins, something like that. But that talks about, um, didn't realize I was showing the arm of the chair there. We keep it covered to keep all the cat fur off, but it's actually a very, very nice fabric. <laughs> okay. Um, I heard the cats cry and I was trying to figure out what was going on. Uh, but at any rate, <laughs> If you pay attention to the lyrics, um, it talks about uh, thieves and something at your back and the something about the industry taking advantage of you or using you or something like that. It's been a while since I've listened to it. Like I said, I, it makes me cry. I can't listen to it. But, um, so I've always believed that it was written for Kurt Cobain because it made sense, but I don't know if that's actually true. But let's see what Postmodern Jukebox has done with it and go from there. But just jumping in to say, if you'll please subscribe, I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. And if I do reach that goal, then one of the things I will do is a drinking game reaction. You guys get to pick the movie and we kind of go from there. So <laughs> uh, hopefully we can find one that will work well that I have not seen yet. And um, have a little fun. So if you don't mind, please subscribe. Thanks. And this one's featuring Sarah Potenza. I have heard her before, but I can't remember where, which song it was. But she does. I remember she has a very soul type voice. Whatever song it was, they were doing kind of a soulful tune to it. Maybe it was a blues cover or something. But all right, here we go. I like her dress too. Second chance. Break that will make it okay. She's got that nice cry to it. And at the beginning, I was afraid. I was like, oh, wait a minute. They're not doing the song I thought they were doing. Um, but they are. Break that will make it okay. There's always some reason to feel not good. It's hard at the end of the day. I need some distraction. Oh, beautiful lips. Memories seep from my veins. Let me be empty. Oh, weightless. And maybe I'll find some peace tonight in the arms. I love her singing it. I love it better than Sarah McLaughlin. And she does a beautiful, she does a very haunting version of it. Um, but Sarah, I like hers better. Shh.
he's playing the piano and the organ at the same time. Is that even possible? It is memory seeps from my veins. That was the other thing, the uh, wreckage of my reverie. I don't know if I'm saying that one word correctly, but, you know, in, when you do drugs and Kurt Cobain did drugs, he kind of wrecked his body. Uh, anybody who does drugs kind of wrecks their body. That's what drugs do to us, whether we use it recreationally or not. Um, it's a poison we're putting in our body. There's other poisons we put in our bodies, too. Just pointing that out. <laughs> That's why it makes so much sense that it's dedicated to him or in memorial of him. I love the way she's singing it. And so far, she's not. I was trying to think. It's hard to remember what to say. So far, it doesn't sound like she's embellished on it too much. Um, she's just singing it in a soul style. Look at that. He's playing both at the same time. How talented do you need to be for that? I can't even play one. <laughs> I can play chopsticks. <laughs> okay. I cut her off in mid middle belt. I thought they were starting to wrap it up, and I was like, we're not at the end yet, are we? Breaking it down. Very soft and angelic. Some comfort here. Gorgeous. Sound hadn't quite finished going out, but I was looking to see if there's anything new that we might have seen. Hello, little girl. You want to say hi to everybody? She's like, not really. Not really. I'm too good for them. Are you going to say hi? had to force her off that time okay I loved that version a lot better than Sarah McLaughlin's and I've loved Sarah's for the longest time because it's so haunting the way she sings it but Sarah you're at the ticket
Thank you all for joining me on this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.